I want to see health care, energy, education, and serious efforts to reduce our uh, budget deficit. Uh, and there are going to be a lot of details that are still being worked out, but I have confidence that we're going to be able to get a budget done that's reflective of what needs uh, to happen in order to make sure that America grows. Well, there he is, the President of the United States. We're right back now with the Politics Fix political analyst, uh, Michelle Bernard's with us, and Lynn Sweet of the Chicago Sun-Times. This seems to me an extension of the Catholic Church. Sometimes the Catholic Church uh, makes state statements where bishops don't show up if they don't agree with a Catholic mm -hmm. who's giving a commencement address. But I've never seen it before where that's extended to a non-Catholic, where the re religious beliefs of the Catholic Church are projected onto, and they're dogmatic, and not just dogmatic, they're deeply moral uh, are projected onto a non-member of the church mm -hmm. like this. This is extraordinary, I think. Well, you know, and, and he duped it out for the Catholic vote during the during the presidential primary, which is what makes it interesting. But, you know, it, as but interesting as... But he's not as trying to become a Catholic. No, he's not trying to become a Catholic. And, and quite frankly, if I were there, as interesting as this is, it's not the question that I would have asked. Earlier, you know, I thought I would have asked about labor unions and the Employee Free Choice Act, but after if listening to... If you're from to, Chicago, you might have asked, because yeah, Notre Dame is well, in the backyard. <laughs> it's a huge issue out there. Well, I I've got to tell you, I, I, mean, I had a whole list of questions. Everyone did. By the way, once you could feel in the room, once President Obama went out there and he says, I've got a list of people to call on, yeah. you kind of felt like, you know, why, 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 you know, why, why doesn't they just the list not, people show up? Well, why don't they no, put out the list ahead of time and then you can kind of, don't the waste time to put your, anyway. This let me ask you about that. What did you think of his shot hear. back at CNN and said, Henry? Ouch. When Ouch. And he said, Ed, oh, I, I, not I gonna... like to know what I'm talking about before I, I start expressing emotions to that effect. And Henry, it seemed like he whipped back at him for a couple of reasons. My thought, he made reference to the president's daughters. Yes. How do you like leaving this debt to your daughters? Yeah. That is verboten. I think in Barack's, uh, President Obama's mind, mind, don't bring up my family. Well, I think it was his daughters, but also he asked the question more than once in, in several different ways, and it was almost implying that something untoward had happened and that Obama might have been trying to cover something up well, and not right. getting not angry. Here's, here's that was a happened. knocking question. Yeah, well, it, what well, happened like, here? I know how to give those well, Yeah, and Obama basically, I think, shot back at him and said, look, I'm in charge. He also didn't want to be choreographed by some reporter. How come you're not showing the right emotional reaction. Yeah. This guy, Ed Henry, whatever his, his credentials are, he was suggesting to the president, you didn't have the, cr the right affect here. Mm -hmm. You didn't seem to be expressing yourself I want the way we to... think you should have. Or maybe Hold he was on, saying, guys. did you really yeah. know what you were doing? No. You have a clue what's happening. The word outrage was, came into our political lexicon when Larry Summers and, and the rest of the White House gang a week ago Sunday said that those AIG bonuses were outrageous. I think what is going on here in this question is why didn't the White House move even faster okay. to catch on to this national okay. communal right. sentiment of outrage? But my That's reaction what was, was he was judging the president's emotional behavior. Okay. Here he is. Let's watch the judge. Everybody watch the judge this moment in the, the, in the presidential press conference tonight. Days to come out and express that outrage. It right. seems like the action is coming out of New York and the Attorney General's office. It, it took you days to come public with Secretary Geithner and say, "Look, we're outraged." Why did it, it take so long? It, it, it took us a couple of days because I like to know what I'm talking about before I speak. So man. I would not want to be on the receiving end of well, that. He's famous now. <laughs> he, and Henry's well known as the guy that took the first shot for yes, the president. Yes, and might not get called on. He won't be no, on the list in the future. Yeah, but... We're back with Michelle Bernard and Lynn Sweet for more of the fix. Let me ask you this. The President of the United States goes tomorrow to meet with the Senate Democrats. Uh, it seems to me, check me on this, I think he's going to have to tell them what he's up to. I'm going to either try to jam this whole budget through on an up or down vote, 50-50 or not, and that's enough to win with the Vice President's vote, or I'm going to go by the old procedure of winning for 60 votes that are never going to be there. Never. Mm -hmm. Because Arnold Specter was the 60th vote, and he just made clear where he yes. stands with the Republican primary in Pennsylvania. He's not going to be an easy vote to get. Al Franken's not even there yet. Ted Kennedy's not able to vote a lot of times. So it seems to me the president can't count on getting 60 votes anymore on anything. I think, it, I think it's amazing. If you look at the two press conferences he's held and everything he has said in the last few weeks, this president is banking his entire presidency on the economic crisis and, and how we get yeah. out of it and what he throws he into this budget. He Exactly. Well, I know. Say, Help kick me out. I, exactly. But you, I keep looking at it. When have you ever seen a president do this before? You is, haven't, is, we is, haven't is, had this. This is, a this is why he's got to go for a vote. Exactly. Because he doesn't have a choice. He might it's, as well say, do you want him to be around at Christmas time saying, you know, I really tried on health care. I guess I didn't get it done. Give me a break. Nobody's going to give him a break. Yeah. 
No, it's now or never. No, right. It's better to do this in the beginning. That's why he's having this uh, permanent campaign to support the budget and sending people out into precincts. That's why he went on the Tonight Show. Yeah, that's well, why he went on 60 Minutes. He wants mm -hmm. to communicate this okay. budget to everyone, okay. except whether or not people understand the details isn't the point. The point is he wants to create a populist, continue his, okay. his personal popularity. Why does that work when that? the country's upset is rip against uh, Wall Street? rip generally against the institutions of this country. They think that the politicians and their oversight responsibility has let them down. The regulators have let them down. Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, everybody's let them down except the Army. Mm -hmm. It's almost like in Latin America, the only thing you trust is the Army. And yet they like this guy. Obama. Let me explain, Michelle. Well, it it the polls is, just showed it again tonight. The, the polls show it because he is believable. There is something about him. I, I can't put my finger on it. It is appealing, and he has made it okay to say to the American public, I'm going to tell you the <coughs> truth. Here's what the numbers really look look like. Here's what I believe is the best course of action. And he can also always you know, blame it on the Republicans and say, nobody, no, nobody else has given me an well, alternate plan. Have you heard them come up with anything different? And people, are, people want a leader. <coughs> I don't know if this plan I is going to it's going to succeed or me, not, but he is leading. Let me offer this. I think there is a more fundamental reason, and that is people do understand that this problem that he's cleaning up is not of his creation. He said that tonight. First time he said yes. that. I inherited this from the Republican Party. He, he laid it on the line. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you very much, Lynn, as always.